Hello and welcome to another edition of Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Today we're focusing on Kjell Nice out of the Netherlands here in a 1500 against Joey Mantia, also an outstanding middle distance skater. And today we're going to focus on Kjell's corner and then a bit on his straightaway. Um, so let's look at something I want to show you right away. You know how I've said it's about driving forward, it's not about sliding the skate out to the side, pushing to the side. This is a good example of just driving forward. So, again, we haven't seen it from this angle before, but left, left blade is fully engaged there. Really good line, good deep position. And you can just see how he's driving. He's poised. You can just see his, his eye gaze, everything. He's poised to go forward. And it's so fast. So watch what the left does. He's got all his weight on this skate. One skate, all of the weight, all of the weight, all the way through, drops the right down off the left. And you can see that at a better angle coming up. So again, really good deep position. And I've talked to you about lateral compression. And Kel does this extremely well. Notice, notice how He's in this zone here, and nothing goes out of it. I mean, he's moving forward, but, you know, you move that here. So it's lateral compression. Everything is under him. And it's early. Watch. Watch when he's off this right. Let's look at the blade angle. Good angle. No broken ankle here. A lot of people, their ankle goes like this, and they, they flap out to the side and lose all their power. So he's transferring that power. I've talked about that. You want to transfer. You just want to give the pressure from this skate to this skate as soon as it comes down. So let's see how he does it. Done with the right, on the left. See that? He's off, and he's already pushing on the left. There's no dead time, none. No dead time. Remember that. It's always pressure from one skate to the other. You just want to give it from one skate to the next skate. If you can remember that one thing, you'll have no waste. You clean a lot up. If you simply transfer the pressure from one blade to the other and your blades are parallel at set down. If you do that, your hip is in, you're flat, and you're walking forward just want to walk forward against that blade. You can see it. You can see his right. He almost hops forward. See that? That's because he's not pushing way lateral. Again, pushing down, driving this against it, forward. So it's just a great example of very good technician on the turn. I mean, that's just pure power. It's just pure, clean transfer of power, and that's why he's one of the best skaters in the world. That's just a real load right here. You can just see it. And he's very early. Let's watch, a, let's watch this in fast motion and slow motion, then I'll show you something else. So. Now slow. really good placement in the skates because he's working from here. He's not thinking about where his skates are. He's thinking about pressure and timing. You're not thinking about pushing. You're just thinking about pressure and timing and driving. Remember the concept of like acting as if this skate isn't even moving. Lock against that skate. Drive hard against it. And as a function of the pressure on this skate, you recover the leg forward. Remember that. Your recovery is not separate from your pushing skate. Your pushing skate is driving everything, your whole structure forward, and your recovery comes forward as a function of it. You're not thinking separate parts, like I have my left, and I'm going to recover my right, pull it way over here. You're not going to do that. You just want to have, have it be like a pulley system, like your, your left is pulling your right, and then your right is pulling your left. Imagine how a pulley works. 
That's what you want to do. So keep it really laterally compressed. Keep it under you. Knees tight. Pressure. Good angles on the blade. And you will have a great corner. So now I want to show you an exit he does and then his straightaway over here. Okay, here's an exit. Now I told you, best transition, no transition. Pretend the turn is an ending, okay? No transition. So you wanna, as you're exiting the turn, pretend it's not gonna end and then you're in the straightaway. Understand, so you're you're doing your turn strokes, turn, 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 straight away. It's not turn, turn, drift, uh, anticipate the exit, drift around, no. None of that mess. So watch how Kill really clean here. Off that left early so he can, boom, right away onto his right. And the thing I wanted to show you about Kill's straightaways, he's very different than Joey, and we'll talk about Joey in a future episode because he does a lot of things well really well but notice how Keld is not as severely out as I've shown with other skaters first of all in a middle distance or a sprint it's much harder to do because the turnover is higher but secondly it's anatomical I've said you know if you've got narrow hips and he's got narrow hips Joey has much wider hips um, if you have narrow hips it's much harder to get out over the skate because you're limited by your hips so your knee is going to pop out a little more so you can see but so this this isn't necessarily classic straightaway sprint technique like guys like uh, Yuskov their head is way out here they're just extreme with with that pressure and with being out over the skate however because Kjeld's built how he is he's using his anatomy to its advantage because watch what he does well he goes he moves with that lead skate so early and I've said this before you move with the lead skate he's all he's not even thinking about this anymore he's going here he's on that skate so early and he turns it over he carves it so quick really good lines so I just want to show you that because it's an example of we all have to use our anatomy that we've been given and use it to our advantage and he does that well so the key for him is that he understands that and instead of trying to use a different technique that wouldn't work for him he works within not the limits but the realities of his own his own body and so is he way out over this knee no but what, what does he do right he turns it over extremely fast comes flying through with that recovery just and again, the recovery is driven by the pressure. Don't think of your recovery as separate. It's, a, it's, it's driven by the pressure you put into the ice. Here's another good shot of that. Just turning it over so quick. And let's watch it in fast and then we'll close out this episode. Just so quick quick through that zone, through the hit zone very fast. All right, I hope you enjoyed that and learned something from it. Feel free to comment. You can email me at jeffreykleiber at gmail.com if you've got comments or questions or comment, post a comment, and I'd love to hear from you. All right, and please subscribe if you haven't and share it with others. And uh, talk to you next episode. Thank you.